New tonight, at least one in seven children have experienced child abuse or neglect in the past year here in the United States. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live in the studio with how local communities are shining a light on child abuse. Yeah, that's right, Nick. I was in Northampton earlier this evening where one organization did just that, supporting the hundreds of child abuse survivors they have served. 84% of the children who are abused in Massachusetts, it's at the hands of a caregiver, someone they love, someone they trust. 2,400 luminaries illuminating Hampshire County, each one representing a child abuse survivor. Supporters standing in solidarity. They're so vulnerable and they've been hurt and they've been hurt and they've, they've seen things no child should see. According to state data in 2022, there were over 90,000 reports of child maltreatment, which is an increase of 10,000 reports since 2021. And during Child Abuse Prevention Month, the Children's Advocacy Center of Hampshire County calling attention to this serious public health problem. It's really hard for kids to have to come forward, tell what they've experienced. We need the community to step up. We need adults, whoever you are, whether you're a mandated reporter or you're just somebody's neighbor, if you're worried about a child, make a report. Some physical signs of child abuse includes poor hygiene, poor weight gain and malnutrition, bruising, fractures and or defensive injuries. And some behavioral signs include fear, anxiety, and clinging. If you know or suspect that a child is being abused or neglected, you are asked to report it immediately to the Department of Children and Families. You can also call the Child at Risk hotline. That number is at the bottom of your screen. Working for you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22.